Hey everybody, Innocent here and here are my top 5 apps of the month of September that you might want to try. Before we dive into the video, please don't forget to hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that anytime I post, you'll be the first person to see it. Without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. So starting up on the list today is called universal copy most of it when you go to our social media handles like on twitter over here you cannot easily copy this test that you see online there so if i want to copy this test from joel Osteen, it will be very difficult for me to do but with the help of universal copy you can easily copy that what you have to do is you download the app and you allow a couple of permissions and then you turn on this universal copy now go back to your social media handle or it works with any other app and then you go to your notification panel like this and then you tap on the universal copy mode over there so once you tap on it it will select the area that you would want to copy the test from so what you have to do is you click or you select on the part that you want to copy and then you copy it to your clipboard it is as simple as that now let me go to my twitter page and try to paste this one that i just copied and then you see that it is right over there all that you need to do is you edit the parts that you you don't want right over here and then you can go ahead and then you repost it is very simple to use it comes with a free version and then the premium version with the premium version you can actually activate the ocr mode and then you can scan objects and then you copy it right from there the interface is very simple to use you can activate the dark mode if you want to if you quickly need to receive something without providing your normal email temp mail is your number one app to go this app basically provides you with a temporary email that you can use to receive anything from images to test to audios and videos you just have to open the app and then there you go you have a temporary email that has been provided for you so all that you have to do is you hit on the copy over here and then you can copy that to your clipboard and you send it over to anybody that wants to send you the message so let's see how it works now here is my normal gmail account and then i'm going to send this message to the app that we are testing so i'll paste the email that i just copied the temporary email and then i'm going to type in something like this so once i'm done and then i send it over i'll come back to my temporary email and then when i come to my inbox over here this is the email that i sent over so you can basically use this terminal to control your inbox and avoid spamming and then you can use it to receive emails that requires just one action it comes with a free version and then the premium version of which you pay for 15 cities and then um, 45 cities for the premium version and then you can costume your own email names and then you can have multiple emails and in-app mails and premium domains and other cool stuffs that you can enjoy so you can upgrade to the premium version or you can stick to the free version and enjoy temp mail if you're somebody that mostly types same messages over and over again this app called testpan would help you to create shortcuts so that you'll be able to not type the whole message again but then once you type in the shortcut it is going to bring to you the full test so this is how it goes you, you add up a phrase and then abbreviation so you add the abbreviation over here and then you type in that long test that you want it to show up so i've done an example over here this is for checkup and then it works on any other app so let's go to one of these apps and see if this works out so back to twitter and the abbreviation that i created is checkup so the moment i start typing checkup this particular app is going to pop up the thing and i i'm going to click on this one and then you can see that hey how are you doing the long test that i pasted in that particular abbreviation is going to be right over here so i just click on it and then i can easily tweet it out or send it as a message it works with almost any other app that you can on whatsapp facebook instagram and then any snapchat any other social media that you think so you can easily customize your test with an abbreviation and then once you type in the abbreviation the long test 
will be there for you just like most apps it comes with a free version and a premium version so you can upgrade to the premium version to enjoy more features if you want to boost your likes on instagram using hashtags is one of the best ways to boost your likes on instagram and with that in tags over here it's here to help you find the right hashtags for your videos now this is how it works the interface is very simple when you install it you are given the chance to provide your age limit and the number of audience or the type of audience that you want to reach out to and this helps to bring out this particular thing that you see over here so you can actually select any one of them and then there are a lot of hashtags over there that you can easily copy it for you you can also find hashtag streets from here by typing a keyword so if you type in a keyword like this it brings you the number of hashtags that contains the keyword that you typed that is you so you can easily select any of them and then you copy it out one feature that i love about this particular app is that you are able to generate your own hashtag so what you do is you come to this particular place and then you, are, you type in the keywords at least five keywords and then you generate the hashtags now i love the fact that it also shows the number of posts that is so you're able to know the hashtag size and if you are number is increasing or you have a huge following the hashtag that you are supposed to use and if you are a small or you have a small following also the hashtags that you are supposed to use additionally you can filter by showing the actual online hashtags and then the top online also so it filters it out for you depending on the tags that you type in so these are the most popular hashtags of the keywords that i input in it is very simple if you want to use any of them all that you have to do is you copy them to your clipboard and then you can easily go and post it after writing your caption for your instagram now additionally you can save this one over here using this button and then the next time you come you can easily go and access it from the saved over here and then you copy it straight away so if you want to boost your instagram post you might consider using in tags for your hashtags last on the list today is brainly if you're a student any grade any level and then you want to join other students and other graduates who are helping themselves solving questions and answering your questions your quizzes and your assignments this is the right app for you so you can basically come here and then you start to type a question that your assignment and then you type it over and then you post it and then other people are online to help you answer that additionally if you come to the answer section over here you are able to answer people's questions and then that gives you points to become the next brainly that you are you'll be able to be featured over here so you can see from this side that these are the top brainly members so these are the people that helps others to answer their questions you can actually filter the type of questions that you want to answer and the level that you want to so we have the middle school high school and the college and then the subjects that you want to answer so let's assume that you go for computers and technology and then you refresh it these are some of the questions that you'll be able to answer and then if you click on the answer here you just go ahead and then you answer the particular but then before you be able to answer you have to log in and join the community as it is so if you're a student and you're looking for other students to join to help you answer your questions and to learn from them this app is the right one for you well those were my top five apps of the month of september let me know in the comment section what do you think what are your favorite apps that you want to see in the next video and which of these apps would you want to try out thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and then i'll see you guys in the next video innocence here and bye